Oh man. Hey guys, this is Vimal here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. So by looking at the video's title itself, you might have known what today's video is, right? Well, it's a brand new PC build video. But today's video is a bit different, guys. The thing is, a lot of you people were commenting in my previous video saying, Hey Vimal, can you build a PC or show us a PC mainly focused on content creation, like mainly for video editing purpose or game development or you know, these sort of stuff and not gaming related. And that is why today's PC build will be mainly focused on content creation only. So guys, this is a pure performance based PC build. We'll be having very minimum of RGB lighting, less fancy stuff and more of performance. So in the market, there are a lot of websites, brands that build custom PCs, but out of them, Bitcart is very popular guys and they do some really good work. They build a lot of custom PCs, they have pre-built PCs for different categories. Like if you want gaming PCs, they have gaming PCs. Or if you want for video editing, content creation, they have a lot of different PCs for different categories. You have to check out their website. So this particular PC is also from Bitcart. I also wanted to try out this custom PC. And for your info, this is not the first time I'm getting a custom PC from Bitcart. If you haven't seen my first video, I'll leave a link to that over here. Uh, this is my second custom PC from Bitcart. And this one, as I've told you just now, is a pure performance content creation build powered by AMD. That is awesome, right? Very cool. And also they use a lot of packaging material, eco-friendly packaging material and handle your PC very well. So these go and get damaged whenever they are shipping out throughout the India. So this particular PC came in this sort of packaging. Uh, the packaging looks pretty similar to the previous one. So now we'll be unboxing it and I'll be showing you this awesome video editing and content creation belt. So let's get started with the unboxing. Let me grab my knife and tear this packaging. So guys, Bitcart takes a lot of care on their packing. They've done a double foam packaging on the outside to keep your PC fully safe. And look at what do we have over here. We've got NZXT's H510 cabinet box. Yep, that is right. I have selected NZXT's H510 white edition mid tower case for this PC build. It's an awesome case with a tempered side glass panel and looks beautiful in white color. So I still haven't told you about the budget, right? This one is a 80 to 85,000 rupees PC that is excellent for 1080p and 1440p editing and can even handle 4K. Yes, you can do 4K video editing on it as well. And one more thing guys, this PC is not just for video editing or content creation. It's also suitable for gaming. So I'd say it's more like a multi-purpose all-in-one PC. We'll talk about all the components and parts that I've selected after we're done with the unboxing. So here it is, a brand new custom editing rig powered by the latest Ryzen 3rd gen CPU. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. Let me just get rid of all this packaging. The NZXT's H510 comes with a tempered glass side panel and cases with tempered glass panels definitely require good packaging. Otherwise, there are chances of your cabinet getting damaged. And finally guys, this is how our custom PC from Bitcart looks like. Holy moly, this thing looks beautiful in white color. And are you people looking at that foam on the inside of the case? They have stuffed foam material in every inch of the cabinet. And there's also a big air cushion like sponge bag to keep all your components safe and prevent them from getting disturbed while shipping. Very nice. Alright, now let's check out the build and talk about the components. As I mentioned before, this is an 85,000 rupees build focused mainly on content creation and is also suitable for gaming. The case we are using in this build is from NZXT. It's a brand new H510 matte white edition. It's a compact mid tower case and is perfect for this sort of build. See guys, NZXT's cases are all about aesthetics. It looks stunning in white color, has a tempered side glass panel to show off your beautiful components and offers good thermal performance. I really like the modern and elegant looks of this cabinet. And the build quality is also excellent. Talking about the processor, Content creation requires a powerful CPU with a lot of cores and threads. We want to go with a processor that offers all these requirements at the best possible price. Hence, I've selected AMD's new Ryzen 3rd Gen 3700X. This is an 8-core 16-thread CPU with a base clock frequency of 3.6 GHz and a max boost clock frequency of 4.4 GHz. Based on a 7 nanometer Zen 2 architecture, this CPU offers excellent results. We'll talk about all the pricing details at a later part in this video. The CPU comes with a free stock cooler as well, but we'll not be using that. 
To keep the thermals in check and the CPU temps low even at max loads, I've used a budget-friendly AIO liquid cooler from NZXT, the Kraken M22. It's an affordable 120mm AIO that offers decent cooling performance and is more than enough for this build. Plus, the Kraken's pump offers a beautiful RGB lighting with an infinity mirror design. And the lighting on it is also fully adjustable with NZXT software. The motherboard I'm using is a budget-friendly Micro ATX model, Prime B450MA from ASUS. It's a good motherboard especially when you're on a tight budget, offers a complete system-wide fan tuning, fast connectivity options, and also supports ASUS Aura Sync Lighting Control. Coming to the GPU, we'll be using a RTX 2060 from Inno3D. RTX 2060 is more than enough for this job. It can easily handle even 4K video editing. If you guys don't know, for jobs like video editing or other creative works, CPU is very important and not the GPU. GPU comes at second priority here. Applications like Premiere Pro are more CPU dependent and that's why we're gonna be spending more on a CPU and get a budget-friendly GPU. I went with an RTX 2060 because this is an all-rounder GPU. It's great for both video editing as well as excellent for 1080p and 1440p gaming. If you don't have gaming at all in your mind, then even the GTX 1650 Super or the 1660 series is also more than enough for editing and rendering. You can save up to almost 8 to 10,000 rupees here if you're not planning on playing your games on this PC. With 6 gigs of VRAM, GPU boost clock of 1680 MHz and ray tracing support, the Inno 3D's RTX 2060 is a great all-rounder GPU. The RAM that I'm using is from T-Force, it's the Delta RGB 16GB kit clocked at 3200 MHz. We've got 2 into 8 GB sticks clocked at 3200 MHz, supports Intel XMP 2.0 overclocking and a beautiful RGB light bar at the top. Talking about the storage, for editing and rendering purpose, you definitely need an SSD. My choice would be go with Samsung's Evo 860 SSD. 250GB variant would be more than enough for your active projects. And for dumping and storing all the other unnecessary files, get a 1TB hard disk from Seagate. And finally, coming to a PSU, for this sort of build, a 550W power supply would get your job done. So I went with Thermal Takes TR2 550W power supply. So that's it guys, these were all the components used in this NZXT's 85,000 rupees build. For people who want to cut down even more cost, I'll give you tips and suggestions at the end of this video. Now let's talk about this PC's performance. Since this PC is mainly focused on content creation, let's first talk about the performance while using applications like Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects and other similar programs. Based on my usage and experience, Premiere Pro runs excellent on this build. I mostly edit all my videos in 4K resolution and as you can see when you're dragging the pointer on the timeline, it just takes a few fraction of seconds to load and catch everything up. But once that is done, everything feels smooth and the workspace runs without much lags. I could easily edit all my 4K videos, add transition and effects and export them. But yes, one thing I have to mention is, when you try to add cinematic effects or high quality effects to your 4K videos, it will definitely slow down a bit. But still, you'll be able to manage the job. Again guys, it's obvious right, for flawless 4K editing, this setup is not enough. You will definitely need a more powerful PC. But if you don't usually work on 4K and prefer mostly 1080p or even 2K resolution, this build is ultimate for you. You'll get buttery smooth experience with no sorts of lags anywhere on the timeline. Talking about the rendering times, while exporting a 4K video file, for a 6 minute clip, it took around 12 minutes to get the job done. If you take a 1080p clip, it'll export it in real time, which is pretty awesome. Ryzen 7 3700X is a monster CPU, and thanks to the M22 liquid cooler from NZXT, the CPU temperatures were low even at full loads. You'll be very satisfied with the results on this build. Now let's talk about gaming. As I've told you earlier, this is an all-rounder build and is suitable for both video editing as well as gaming. You can do some excellent 1080p and 1440p gaming on this machine. Right now I'm playing Battlefield 5 in 1080p resolution at max ultra graphic settings. You can see the frame rate at the top. Just watch this gameplay so you'll get a brief idea on the performance. <laughs> Holy smokes guys, just look at those frame rates. On an average, I was easily getting around 95 frames per second at 1080p ultra. The game felt buttery smooth without any sort of lags or stutters. You will have a great time playing AAA title games on this beast. And not just 1080p, it's also good for 1440p gaming. Just check out this clip. On the overall for that price point, it's a great looking build as well as performs very well. 
Okay, I know you all have been waiting for this. Let me tell you about the pricing details. Let me just open Bitcard's custom rig configuration page and show you all the prices of the components. Also, I'll suggest some alternatives for these components if you are on a tight budget. The NZXT's H510 white mid tar case costs around 6850 rupees. See if you don't want looks of the cabinet at all and just want a simple case so that you can save money, then go with Cooler Master or Corsair. They have plenty of cases around 3000 rupees. But see, let me tell you one thing, when you're spending 70 to 80,000 rupees on a PC and later show it to someone that this is your PC, your PC should look good, right? That is why I was suggesting some good cases. Also, if you want more RGB or stuff like that, then the cost will be even higher. I'll leave all those choices up to you. Talking about the CPU, AMD's Ryzen 7 3700X will cost you around 27,900 rupees. CPU is very essential for video editing, so you have no other choice over here. You have to pick the best one. Asus Prime B450MA motherboard costs 6,950 rupees. Now this one is already a budget category motherboard. Coming to the graphic card, Inno 3D's RTX 2060 costs around 24,400 rupees. But as I've told you before, if you're not at all interested in gaming, then instead of this, you can go with a more budget-friendly 1650 Super or 1660 series GPU and save around 8 to 10,000 rupees in this section. The T-Force Delta RGB 16GB RAM will cost you around 7,100 rupees. NZXT's Kraken M22 AIO liquid cooler will cost you 5,950 rupees. Samsung's Evo 860 250GB SSD costs around 4,190 rupees. And finally, Thermal Takes TR2 550W power supply costs around 3,450 rupees. So the total budget of this build comes down to 86,900 rupees. But if you do the modifications I've told you just now, then the total price can be reduced and the total budget comes down to only 72,000 rupees, which is excellent for people who are really on a tight budget. And if you guys really want, I can actually make that 70k build and compare the performance difference between both these builds and show you in my next video. Let me know what do you think about that in the comment section down below. Well, that was it for today. That was my video on this 85,000 rupees video editing rig from Bitcart. It's an excellent PC for all sorts of work, say content creation or even gaming. In my next PC build, I'll be showing you guys the best PC around 50,000 rupees. So stay tuned for that. So that's it for today. Hope you all enjoyed this video and got to learn a lot. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.